What's up, people? It's JG, and I know that some people were confused about how to enable PS4 Remote Play, and I just wanted to show a quick tutorial on how to do so. Now, if you aren't aware, Sony finally brought out their 3.50 update, which enables PS4 Remote Play on your PC or Mac. So this is no longer available just on the PS Vita and the PS TV. So in order to do this, first, you will pull up the website. So remoteplay.dl.playstation.net. I will put that in the description as well. But depending on what type of computer that you have, whether you have the Windows PC or the Mac, you will go ahead and download them as such. And I already have it downloaded. So the next step that we are going to do, and of course, you have to download the update first for your PS4. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and turn your PS4 on and it should download and install the 3.50 update. So when you have PS4 Remote Play installed, you go ahead and click on the program here. I'm going to say check for updates. And one thing you should do before you even get started is go to your settings. And in your settings, they have video quality for remote play. Um, it's automatically set to standard, which is 540p. But if you want the highest that you can do, do 720. And then frame rate, it's on standard by default. But if you want the frame rate higher, which is, you know, 40, 50, 60 frames per second, you will put that on high. And you have to have a fast connection, obviously, if you want to do that. Other than that, that's all you need to do. All right, so we're going to hit start here. And I've already done this and it's already set, but it's going to ask you for your user ID and your password for the PS4 remote play. So make sure you remember your information. But once you do that, you hit start and there you go so here is the screen you can make it full screen if you want but to me it looks very very ugly it looks ugly regardless even if you do put it up to 720p but um, unfortunately that's the highest that it can go for ps4 remote play it sucks but it is what it is so as you can see i have it right here and another thing that you have to do is you have to plug in your ps4 controller to your pc or mac with the usb cable and there we go, I'm moving, as you can see, from left to right, I'm on the main screen. So there you go, it's pretty much one to one. So I'm looking at my TV right now, and it's, it's working, there you go. So let's go ahead and just play a game, just for shits and giggles. Load up that unshotted. How the hell they find us out here? Uh, these guys have been tailing me for weeks. Thought I lost them. So what'd you do to piss them off? Uh, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> these guys don't like you much, do they? Less talking, more shooting. <laughs> Sully. Oh, no, you don't. Right. And there you go. Simple as that. It's one to one. A little bit like slightly, slightly laggy. But very, very little. So this works well. I don't know how much I want to use it just because you can't put it in 1080p. It honestly does look better on your TV rather than doing it the remote play. But it is a nice addition. So shout out to Sony for finally allowing this update. So they have kept their promises so far. So if you're a Sony pony, I know you're happy. If you're a Microsoft fanboy, you may just be a little upset just because I don't know why, but you may be upset. Anyways, I'm JG. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.